an examination of the current trend of African nations leaving the US dollar as their official currency will be discussed in this video. Why are these African countries dropping the dollar? Numerous factors, such as worries about economic stability, reliance on foreign exchange, and the desire for more control over monetary policy are driving this change. This shift away from the dollar has also been aided by the rising use of digital currencies and the growing power of regional economic alliances. To promote trade and economic expansion, African countries are currently looking into other options, such as creating their own digital currencies or implementing regional currencies. Welcome to the Afro page. Before we dive into this interesting discussion, let me remind you something. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. And hang on till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any interesting parts. Now let's move on. As the most extensively utilized currency in global trade and finance, the US dollar serves as the world's reserve currency. Because the US dollar is becoming less important in international trade, African nations are now more willing to take action to break away from American control by strengthening their own currencies or creating new ones that would be used for transcontinental commerce. We will therefore explain why African nations are abandoning the dollar. Kenya's president, William Ruto, is rapidly becoming well-liked after making multiple speeches critical of the U.S. dollar. Ruto asked African nations to quit doing cross-border trade in U.S. dollars. He questioned the dollar's role in international trade and insisted that payments be made in local currencies by African nations. The president underlined that there is no reason Kenya should settle trade deals with other African nations in U.S. dollars. He declared at the bilateral trade agreement signing ceremony in Djibouti that Djiboutians may purchase goods and services from Kenya without using dollars, and vice versa. He continued by saying that Kenyans needed the Djiboutian franc, while Djiboutians only required the Kenyan shilling. This speech helped him gain a lot of supporters. All those present at the signing rose to their feet and cheered him. The president stated that Africa ought to promote the use of indigenous currencies instead of the U.S. dollar for trade-related payments. Supporting local currencies and assisting African businesses and economies in achieving long-term self-sufficiency are the goals. According to Ruto, the African Export-Import Bank is working on a mechanism that will let traders settle payments with local currencies. Local currencies will be used for payment integration during cross-border trade between African nations. The president declared that he would trade in the USD while conducting business with the US. However, he was not against the US dollar. Let us pay with the dollar what we are buying from the US. Let us pay with our currency what we are buying from Djibouti. This was what he said. Do you know? Africans have considered abandoning the US dollar before as well. When Gaddafi was president of the African Union in 2009, he recommended that the states of the African continent adopt the gold dinar as a substitute for the U.S. dollar. Next up, countries all throughout the world are showing interest in the BRICES alliance. The countries Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are together referred to as BRICES. The BRICES nations have considered the possibility of a single currency. It is conceived as a basket of the currencies of the five members of the Union and aims to simplify and expedite trade transactions within it. Kenya is one of the nations planning to use the new currency in international trade and join the BRICS club. If the majority of the BRICS countries accept the new currency, the US dollar may suffer severely. Support for their native currencies and economies is a driving force behind emerging economies' concerns about the possible economic impact of US sanctions. The de-dollarization campaign gained strength in 2023 when around 20 nations, including Senegal, Algeria, Ethiopia, and Egypt, announced their intention to give up the U.S. dollar. The East African shilling is a regional currency being developed by the East African Community, or EAC. Participants in the African Continental Free Trade Area, or AFCFTA, are pushed to transact in native African currencies. African nations are making an effort to close off trading with the U.S. in order to eradicate every trace of the U.S. currency from their economies. Sudan has declared its intention to deepen its relations with Russia, 
and the two countries' central banks are currently debating how to mutually settle disputes by switching to national currencies. Potentially, Moscow could offer Sudan much-needed grain and oil, and Sudan could supply Russia with cotton, fruit, and food supplements. President William Ruto of Kenya reached a deal with three foreign oil corporations in March that permits them to purchase oil in Kenyan shillings instead of U.S. dollars. The president declared that by purchasing the petroleum in this manner, the nation was saving 66.8 billion Kenyan shillings per month. The goal of this new currency was to divert oil money from American banks and into organizations under state control. Angola, Egypt, Nigeria, and Tunisia were amongst the countries ready to switch currencies. A few nations outside of Africa have also made the decision to leave the U.S. currency, the finance minister of Saudi Arabia has stated that the kingdom is amenable to talks regarding trade in currencies other than the U.S. dollar. In mid-April, the Brazilian government declared that it had decided to deal directly with China in their respective national currencies rather than through the dollar. Finance ministers and central bank governors from the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, discussed utilizing local currencies for trade rather than the yen, U.S. dollar, euro, as well as sterling and financial dealings. A large number of individuals think that because Western governments have been printing an excessive amount of money, gold is more stable and dependable than fiat currencies like the dollar, euro, yen, and British pound. The value and significance of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have been continuously increasing as fiat currencies are becoming less common. Particularly for countries in Africa and South America, there are still too many barriers in the way of any one cryptocurrency being a universal currency anytime soon. On the other hand, local currencies including the dollar are facing real competition against cryptocurrencies. The majority of international trade and financial activities use the dollar, which serves as the world's reserve currency. Furthermore, a lot more African nations have weak currency economies, which would make it challenging for them to switch to a system without dollars. Nonetheless, African nations expect to gain a number of advantages by abandoning the dollar. Their operating expenses would go down as a result. Additionally, it will lessen the possibility of U.S. penalties and advance African economic integration. The United States has a significant degree of influence over other economies due to the dollar's favored role as the reserve currency of the entire globe. What do you think about this shift? Will it be effective? Comment your thoughts in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Let's meet again with another interesting video.